guys, Shanti Phillips here, and it's 5.17 a.m. And this is kind of a whim idea, and this is a video on what's inside of my fridge, and um, you know, a little tour inside of the fridge, a tour inside of the freezer, and a tour in the uh, closet where we keep, you know, like the um, uh, macaroni and noodles and all that kind of stuff. So, are you guys ready for a tour inside of my fridge? I don't think I've ever actually done anything like this. And I'll show, I think I showed like in this, like the, never really the freezer, but like during some of the weight loss videos, I showed some kind of stuff. This will just give you some of the idea of some of the stuff that we eat, because there is stuff that I do cook, and I was able to get to the market and get a couple things that I have not been able to find for like, three weeks now, so some of the few things that I do cook. A lot of frozen things, but like I said, I'll either have a closer look at you know the uh, details now, so get ready for the tour inside of my fridge, freezer, and, and closet. All right, so we'll take a look inside. We're going into the refrigerator first. Now, now keep in mind though, this is, you know, stuff that's in here is my dad's, my mom's, and my brother's, so it's not all my things. I guess we'll start over here, you know, uh, <laughs> with the ketchup, the uh, Simply Ketchup. This is the one that we always use. This is the one that has like no artificial sweeteners. I don't know, this is like the one we've always gotten. There's some um, uh, Surf Brothers uh, teriyaki sauce here. Let's see. Um, this Newman's Own Light Balsamic. Uh, this stuff, the um, sweet and sour sauces I use with these egg roll things that I get. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, mild sauce from uh, Taco Bell. Uh, Parmesan cheese. Uh, I don't use any of this. This um, Best Foods mayonnaise. This is this is actually called uh, Hellman's. If you don't you go to like eat in the East Coast and stuff like that, it's only like called Best Food out here. Like when we moved out here, uh, we were always like, wait, is it the same thing? But yeah, it's exactly the same. It's just for some reason I don't know why it's called that out here. Uh, and then there's some um, Sweet Beaver brand uh, honey mustard. Um, another honey mustard here. Heinz honey mustard. Uh, uh, Heinz yellow mustard. And then up here is these are my like some of my brother's coffee. These uh, Pete's coffees. Some milk back here. My mom's like yogurt stuff. Uh, like I said, it's not all my stuff. This is some kind of chicken stuff. <laughs> this um, uh, you know, simply fruit uh, strawberry one. This is the one that I usually get. Uh, this was like I was having a hard time finding this lately because for some reason this is like one of the things that like sold out everywhere now like certain things It's really sporadic the things that are gone. It's like noodles are gone certain jellies are gone uh, Peanut butter can be hard to find uh, There's some like Nestle Toll House cookie things uh, Some like regular butter the butter that I use is this um this um, Brummel, Brummel and Brown made with real yogurt butter. It's like less calories than regular butter. It's like half the calories of regular butter. The one time we couldn't find this recently, we got like, I can't believe it's not butter back there somewhere, which I've never actually tried. And I, every time I think of that, you know, you know, my mom's like making some kind of egg something there. And <laughs> yes, it's 520, I know. And, um, they, you know, um, but we ne I've never actually tried that, but I always think of Fabio. We have some pizzas in here from Domino's. Let's see. Back here, these like spicy carrot things, which always can sometimes end up being like a sick stomach after you eat those ones, because they're a little, little spicy, even though I dab them off. This thing I gotta throw away, this, I, this expired. So sometimes you find expired things when you go through the refrigerator. Uh, these like kind of weird things. Sometimes, sometimes I get these pizza things when I make these pizzas and I put these um, these like pickled onion things on them, which are not bad. <laughs> and then this stuff that I always like, it's called hoagie spread, but it's actually like on the East Coast they always call this hots. And like um, this is one of those things that you know I always liked, but it's very spicy. There's some more coffee back there. These are the things I was saying that I was having a terrible time finding. These uh, stir fry uh, teriyaki noodles. These things, like I, I make these things all the time. They're not very bad, and they're less basically like the stuff that I like. And then you like microwave the noodles, and then you like mix them in, and you stir fry the whole thing. Like these things, I, I make these a lot. But like I said, I had like a terrible time finding these. This type of avocado Caesar salad thing. It's like a, a whole bunch of different sauces back there from like takeout sauces. Like I said, there's that, can't believe it's not butter, which I've never tried. I don't even know if we'll try it because we have the other ones that we get. More, more of my brother's coffees in here. 
a whole bunch of these like Taco Bell and like Del Taco uh, sauce packets. Let's see what's in here. Some um, none of this stuff I eat. This is like um, like uh, applesauce and uh, I think this is like some kind of um, rice rice pudding. Uh, let's see. I do eat these up all the time. Every single day, I have more of these. I have three of these things. Uh, apples. These are things I eat like every single day. So those are like the one thing I eat all the time. Uh, chicken, and that's uh, pretty much uh, Lulu's only thing she'll eat. <laughs> she won't eat a lot of things, and luckily enough, we found something that she'll eat. And uh, some cheeses. These are all like my dad's uh, golden almonds. Some cheese in there. See over here is um, some um, these you know um, uh, green olives, some pickles over here. I saw my mom eating this tonight. This sort of odd type of cheese, port wine cheese. It's got like unique colors. It looks like it's like some kind of like a weird like um, Italian ice thing, but no, it's like some kind of cheese. And I saw her eating it tonight. Um, some waters in there, some juice. Let's take a look though now in the uh, freezer. And then we'll go into the closet and see what's in there. Now, this is pretty full up. This is like really full. So it's a little hard to show in here. The one thing that like um, we make all the time is peas. And they were these are actually were hard to find. Like they kept on being sold out. And then like um, for a while too they were sold out even before everything is going on now. Because like with Weight Watchers, my mom's always saying, oh yeah, these are zero or something. You can eat as many peas as you want on Weight Watchers. So like everybody's always would go and like pound the peas because they were, you know, part of that thing. And then here we have a lot of these, like, um, these are really hard to find, these ones. Um, they're only in, like, Winco. These um, backyard grow potatoes in here. Some more peas, a bunch of peas. A whole bunch of peas. Mixed vegetables, more peas. It's full of peas. And these are these um, spring roll things that I like, these um, Thai ones. And they're real, like, um, low calorie. They're only 50 calories each. So the whole thing is like 200 calories. These uh, Annie's TV dinner things I always really like. Uh, these are one of the uh, macaroni ones. My brother's bagel bite things. Uh, cauliflower pizza. These things too when like uh, everything was hard to get in the beginning when everything was starting to happen. With what's going on now with the coronavirus and all that stuff with the food shortages that were going on in the beginning. Uh, these you could still find. You couldn't find the other pizzas. But like the dietetic kind of weird stuff I like is uh was easy to get uh these uh amy's lasagna i eat a lot of amy stuff because i don't eat any meat so i eat a lot of vegetarian thing like i said I, I i cook some stuff but i've never really been like a real cook kind of thing and also it like sometimes it can add up when you're like making things just for you and i don't know and i'm not really that good at cooking so i'm like i don't want to kind of cook up crap that i can't <laughs> i can't do these are my favorite of all the uh, egg rolls. These are real like um, uh, dietetic-y kind of ones, but I really like these and I use that sauce stuff with them. These things, you can only really find these at Target. These Gardein ones, they're like um, teriyaki chicken, which are, you know, these are, you know, plant-based ones. Uh, but I, I really like these ones, the Sweet Earth Company ones, some of the other ones uh, that I like. There's more of these um, uh, spring rolls in here. They have a couple different uh, flavors of those. And then in here too is um, down here is a whole bunch of different random things. Like these things uh, we, we got to eat before we go on the walk because they're only 130 calories. We used to go to um, Yogurt Land before we would go to the gym. That's what we would do every time. But Yogurt Lands now are closed. I mean, not Yogurt Land, to Menchie's. Men Menchie's was our favorite one to go to, but they're all like closed now and they have all these signs on the door. But for some reason, Yogurt Land is still open, but no Menchies are. I have no idea why or how, because they're both the same where you get the thing yourself and all that, but somehow Yogurt Land is open and Menchies isn't, but we got these before we go on the walk. And we've managed for our walks now to get up to like 10 miles and into like 11. Like tonight we were did over a little, like I think it's exactly 11. And these are these new ones. A lot of these ones are my dad's, but these are these new uh, light Haagen-Dazs ones where it's like the whole container is 600 calories as opposed to like um, the regular ones are like 900 to 1,000 calories. So yeah, these are like brand new uh, ones that they just started to have. Let's 
fancy. And then these um, these veggie hot dogs that I get, I usually put these in with these vegetarian beans that I like. These ones more, these Amy ones that I like. These are like Asian dumpling ones, these enchilada things. Like I said, I have a lot of Amy's kind of stuff. These are some more hot dogs that are already open. Uh, more of the uh, Amy ones. This is the one I like, one of my favorite ones. This like veggie loaf, which is basically like a meatloaf kind of thing. But I actually really like that one. So there's more of these ones, Amy's Mexican casserole one. Uh, these bagel things. And I saw these on Shark Tank and like I saw them for the first time like in person. I haven't tried them yet, but I got those at some point to try. You gotta like put everything back the right way because it's very full up now. Cool Whip for my mom. And then all this stuff is like my dad's like um, five cheese lasagna thing. More um, Amy's ones is like a black bean tamale one. Lean Cuisine butternut squash, that's my mom's one. These snowball things, for some reason I put them in the freezer. Um, these Sweet Earth, Earth Cauliflower Mac. These ones we got too that we could try before we walk. These um, uh, Klondike Sunday Miss Fields things. We just got those ones today. But now though, we'll take a look though in the closet to see the other foods in there. But before we go into the closet, I forgot to show, uh, in here we have like some rice cakes, like these um, popcorn rice cakes. So sometimes I have these in the morning. Uh, some of the PB2 is out here. There's also gonna be some in the closet. Uh, some more of the, these are the caramel uh, rice cakes, uh, oatmeal. And then these things that I have every night, uh, these um, uh, tea and honey, these Lipton ones, these seem to only be at Walmart. This, that's the only place that I can find them for some reason. They used to be more places. They used to have two different flavors of this. They had one that was like, um, I think it was like a pineapple flavor, which they got rid of, which I really, it's a shame they got rid of it. But these things, are like the whole thing is like 10 calories. I put this into like a bottle of water that I, and then I take it and put it into the freezer. That's why I like bottled water too, so I take it and put it in the freezer. And then it kind of freezes up and I shake it up like every like 20 minutes and I kind of turn it into like a Slurpee. And since I don't drink like, you know, Slurpees anymore because of the calories and everything, that's kind of like the way I can have a Slurpee. So that's like sort of thing that I do. So that's why I, like one of the main things for bottled waters is because I like to put them in there and shake it up like that. And um, now though, we're going to head into the closet. But now we're inside the closet here. This is like the storage uh, closet, which originally we had it mainly for like coats and stuff like that. And then like we needed more space. So we kind of like made it and had this all made to, you know, to store things and the overflow and all that kind of stuff. So now we're inside the closet. I'll show you all the stuff that we've gotten here. And we'll start up here on the top shelf. We have more of the Newman's own uh, salsa here. Um, some more of the Simply Heinz uh, ketchup more of the uh, sweet and sour sauce the um the sugar-free uh, miss buttersworth which is this is actually kind of hard to find this one like is only like certain places and it's only like um 20 calories for this but like the regular type it's like 200 or something it's like really high so i would never use that one i don't really make too many pancake stuff but like if i use it that's usually the one that i'll use and then here is like the, everyone's always asking about the pb2 i will say though they changed the um chocolate pb2 a while ago and um i don't like it as much they like um like reformulated it this is the original one here this type and it was actually like i think five calories less but it like tasted way more like a chocolate peanut butter now it kind of has this like way more of this like cocoa kind of taste so i don't like it as much so i've like uh, luckily enough i still have some of the original one it doesn't expire till uh, november so like i kind of am saving this one i think i only have like maybe two of that type left 
so I'm kind of saving it. I'm like, like you know, because it's like a shame. Because like I, I don't, like I said, I don't like it as much. And this is the other thing that I used to really like all the time, this high fiber oatmeal. And then like it was one of those things I had it every single day, and I had it like since the beginning of my weight loss journey. And then I kind of like um, it was weird. It's like one of those things where you have it so much you like lose the the taste for it. And that kind of happened to me because I kind of lost the taste. Now with this food though too, like remember this is not like I ha we have this for a long period of time it's not like eaten real quick or anything like that uh, and there's also some of the stuff too we bought too in the very beginning of like when everything was like we we're worried about like if there was going to be really really bad food shortages and stuff like that so some of this kind of stuff we bought for that like these um uh, garlic mashed potato things which these are okay they're kind they kind of have like a like a sort of like this real prefab kind of vibe thing to them uh this was too because like it was it, for a while it was really hard to find baked potatoes because we we put these in the air fryer and like cook them up and they're, they're not bad like that but for a while they were like impossible to find like everywhere they were gone so we got like some of these things and like i said they're okay they're not they're not like amazing though they're not i don't totally dislike them though uh these things here these miso soup things i have these things every so often not that often uh these uh black olives sometimes i put them on a pizza if i make it uh, like i said we bought a lot of these easy max when that was all like the kind of few things that we could find and then like same with these like i don't really eat these at all these pop tart things we went, we've got a lot of these too in the very beginning um let's see and then we bought these things at some point we got to make these um biscuit kind of like flavor bursting chocolate chip uh, pancake type things and the same with these type of things, these Miss Butterworth, uh, like single serve kind of, um, uh, you know, pancake type thing, which are not terrible, those things for the, like breakfast type item. And then these things, I do eat these ones sometimes, these, um, uh, I don't eat these Pop-Tarts, but I like these ones because they're only 150 calories and they're like these like little mini uh, Pop-Tart things, which I have sometimes in the morning. Let's see, a whole bunch of these like, um... We kind of got these a, a while ago and then kind of liked them and then kind of didn't after a while. These Think Kids pro Protein Bars, which are like, I think they were like 100 calories, I think. Like the kind of thing like a eat after the gym kind of thing. I think these were 100 calories. I believe so, yeah. But for some reason, like, they, sometimes like, you like stuff like that and then you don't. These are my dad's uh, M&M peanuts. Like those are sort of like his like big thing he has all the time. Let's see down here. Uh, I don't even know what these are. Some kind of chip things. Um, some of these um, Kodiak cakes. I remember we originally saw these on Shark Tank. And then these are like chocolate peanut butter, like um, muffin brownie things. These things are not bad. They have a lot of protein in them. They're like 10 grams of protein in them. Some more of those little cake things. Like Ziploc bags. Let's see. Sort of like my dad's Cheetos. And his... Um, I think these are kettle cooked uh, chips, some more peanuts, but M&M peanuts. So these are the kind of rare, hard to find ones that you, I think, I think you only really see these a lot at Walmart. I don't see them too many other places. These are mega M&M peanuts. So they're bigger uh, M&M peanuts. Uh, let's see, there's even, there's even more M&M peanuts up there. So he has a lot of M&M peanuts. Um, some like um, tomato sauce for pasta, Parmesan cheese, stove top one. They, they usually make this, if they eat it, this chicken one. I got this one to try sometime, that savory herb, because it doesn't have like meat or anything in it, like chicken base or anything. Uh, some um, frosted flakes. These, these I would take to the movies, because I didn't want to buy some of the movies. So I would take these, but you know, there's no movies, to, the movies are all closed now, but so I don't really, I'm not eating them too much, but they last a pretty long time though. Uh, and then these, since I don't like the PB2 as much, I've gotten these um, mini peanut butter ones. So if I want peanut butter, I usually get it like this now. Um, like I said, I, I, I like the regular PB2, though. I feel like the regular PB2 is still okay. I just don't really like this new chocolate one that much. And I bought it in bulk because it's much way cheaper to buy it in bulk. But it's one of those things, like I said, I kind of lost the taste of it. These are some of these other things that we bought in the beginning of like when we were worried about getting food we got this uh this is like these mini spaghettis that my dad likes in this kind of casserole thing that my mom makes like with like hot dogs or something this thing that he likes um if i if i eat any noodles though like i usually would just get like um 
I don't know which of these ones, I don't make them that much. Usually like um, this one here I usually like, but I used to like this type that they don't make anymore. And if any of you guys remember, it was like called like Trio or something, where it was like a mix of like three different types together. This is like some like beef stew thing they got. Let's see some uh, more of the natural uh, Smucker's uh, jelly. This thing here too, I like sometimes it is like this, um, if I don't want to use butter on something, sometimes I put this on vegetables, it's like butter buds, and it's like this um, 10 calorie like um, butter seasoning type thing, and some more um, like uh, the sweet beaver mustard there, some of my, my mom's apple butter, some honey, and there this thing came free. Uh, with with that like that bulk order. I think it was like box.com or something like that that we ordered that on Let's See there's some taco shells here taco seasoning here um, McCormick taco seasoning Some more uh, apple butter back there Some of this tuna that my mom gets like bumblebee uh, tuna these things I get, I, I put them in with those uh, vegetarian beans. I mean, the vegetarian hot dogs. I mix this in and make this sort of like hot dog bean thing, which I heat up, you know, a very long time. That's why, too, we use a lot of paper things. It's because we microwave things a long time, which I've microwaved in ceramic things, and I've cracked the ceramic yeah, with certain things. And especially, too, now, we're really heating up stuff that we get in, like, restaurants and stuff, to, you know, just to be safe to like kill anything that there could be any type of germs or anything like the longer you cook it the just safer I, I got some of these too when we couldn't find potatoes these sliced potatoes which these are okay these canned ones uh, these things I sometimes mix into that vegetable thing that I showed that I make uh, these uh, baby corn in the cobs and then back here is like some soups like garden vegetable soup here I know this is kind of a, a crazy weird video idea showing like food stuff I thought it would just be something that kind of went along with the Costco video and all that kind of stuff kind of connected to it uh, some of this uh, Del Monte uh, roasted corn some more soups there uh, some of the carrots I eat sometimes. I, I like to make the carrots better sometimes, but sometimes these are easier, especially like after the gym when I'm really, really like would be really crapped out. I would, would not have the time to do that kind of stuff because I would really do a lot at the gym, so I'd be really exhausted. Uh, these are my favorite type of um, like green beans for some reason. I don't know why, but I always like this type Italian beans. It's like a weird type like a weird look and everything, but I always really like this one. Uh, some uh, rice cakes here, caramel rice cakes. These are some of my brother's uh, cashews. These are my dad's like um, like Ritz things. These are uh, We got uh, like a bunch of these too. And like I said, the food thing, we were worried about getting food. I think these are like some prunes. I, are these, are, these are prunes or, yeah, prunes. <laughs> those are not mine. Uh, these are interesting kind of things. These are like, um, Kind of like a Sour Patch Kid, kind of a Swedish fish type thing, but they're um, like 100% of the daily um, fiber, so they're like these insane amount of fibers. You see 100% fiber, so it's basically like a fiber, uh, like Swedish fish type of thing. It's only 80 calories. It's 100% of the daily, uh, you know, fiber of the day. I don't see anything else. Some more soups down there, like tomato dish from the bisque of my mom's. Uh, this is like, like Lulu, our dog's like real persnickety with what she eats, like really picky, but she likes this maple Cheerios. That's like one of her like treat type things she has. In here there's like some like weird like old old fashioned candy things, like root beer barrels and these like things I always remember as a kid too from the, the dollar store nips. And they still make them. Like, I used to eat them as a little kid, and they're still making them today. Let's see. And then, like, some of my mom's, like, these sour raisin things that she likes. So that's pretty much everything in here. And there's, like, a big box of Frosted Flakes. I don't even know when we bought that thing. But, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, a look in all the stuff in here, though. So anyway, though, guys, that was just a look inside of my, you know, refrigerator, freezer, and in the closet where we have the storage and everything. I, like I said, this is kind of a weird idea for a video. I just thought it'd be something different. Like I said, since I did the video showing uh, the stuff in Costco, going there for, like, the vitamins, the plates, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the water, which we weren't able to find the one type, but we got another one. I felt like this kind of, like, connected on uh, with it. It's just kind of a weird, uh, you know, different kind of video to do. And I've seen some people showing inside 
their freezer late. I just felt like it's kind of a funny idea, honestly. But anyway, though, guys, uh, like I said, if you guys enjoy my videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.